till now we have studied about the moon about the surface of the moon how moon is uh, now we also know that the revolution and the rotation period of the moon is approximately same and we almost every time uh, i should not say almost uh, it is like every time whenever we see moon we are seeing only the one side of the moon that is because of the revolution of the moon it appears that the size and the shape of the moon is changing why is it happening and how does it happen we are going to talk about that so now we are going to discuss about the phases of the moon moon a celestial body which is very very close to us or we can say the uh, celestial body which is closest to us nearest to us moon is the natural satellite of the earth and it rotates on its own axis and it revolves around the earth due to this revolution the changes comes in the shape and size of the moon and these changes in shapes and size of the moon are phases of moon so first of all we'll talk about the phases of the moon phases of the moon we know at least we exactly do not know the reason that why the revolution because of the why because of the revolution the phases of the moon occurs but we know something about this we know about the full moon and the new moon amavasya and purnima and we also know that the uh, shape of the moon changes uh, even there is a time when there is no moon in the sky and from this no moon position again we are able or we see moon in the sky and we see moon in the sky in which way an in increasing size then the stage comes when the moon uh, appears you know we can see moon as a full disk and we call that as a full full moon again after this again after full full moon the size of the moon start decreasing and again the uh, day comes when we can say that there is no uh, moon or new moon day so what is happening actually the change in the sizes or night when there is no moon and then starts appearing its size get increased it comes into its full size and then again slowly it get reduced the size get reduced and get disappear this all are the phases of the moon as i said that we see only one side of the moon we see always only one side of the moon so this side which we see is known as near side the side which we see is known as near side and the side which we do not see is known as far side now we'll talk about the how the revolution or how the phases of the moon changes before we start this we need to know two words the meaning of the two words and that is the waxing and uh, waning uh, so i'll just explain first of all waxing and waning and then we'll start with this topic phases of moon so first is waxing now waxing means to appear bigger that means slowly it's becoming bigger bigger and bigger and this stage is known as uh, waxing that means it is uh, a day uh, a time when there's no moon then it is increasing slowly that means it is waning so how to write this when the size of the right portion of moon 
grows from a new moon to full moon it is waxing this one is known as waxing now we'll talk about waning so it's when moon decreases in size from a full moon to the new moon now waxing and waning are the two terms which we need to understand that what are these before we talk about the phases of the moon so waxing means what it's appearing bigger it will slowly it will become bigger bigger and bigger and then the full moon will come and uh, waning means what the full moon the full moon has come and slowly it is going to decrease in size and uh, again the no moon day will come or the new moon day will come so waxing means to appear big become big and waning means to become smaller now we'll talk about the different stages so first of all actually moon is a non luminous object that means moon do not emit its own light moon does not has its own light then how we are able to see moon uh, this thing will be reading in light that how an object appears how can we see an object so uh, how can we see an object children first of all we can say that the objects are of two types luminous and non luminous luminous objects are the one which has their own light or emit their own light non luminous objects are one which do not has which do not have their own light but then what happens how can we see that means now this is moon but it doesn't have its own light but how can we see when the sun when the sun this is very rough diagram where the sun is small and the moon is bigger so very rough diagram now when the sun is uh, when the sun's rays falls on the surface of the moon when the sun's rays falls on the surface of the moon and it is reflected it is reflected and because of this reflection we can see the uh, moon uh, that yeah moon is there as we know that the moon is revolving around the earth we know that moon is revolving around the earth i'll just clean and i'll draw another diagram over here we know that we know that the moon is revolving around the earth now this is earth and here is the sun and this moon is revolving around the earth when it revolves ar ar around the earth you know one position comes when it comes in between the sun and the earth a position comes when it comes in between the sun and the earth please try to understand i'll repeat this first of all objects can be of two types luminous and non luminous luminous objects emit their own light and so we can see them non luminous object cannot be seen until unless it reflects this the light whichever light now uh, when on the surface of the moon the sunlight falls and 
the moon reflects the light and due to this reflection we are able to see the moon. So what is happening whenever sun's light comes on the moon, moon reflects the light and due to this we are able to see it from the earth. But when the moon, I said moon revolves around the earth, when the moon revolves around the earth, a position comes when the moon is in between the sun and the earth. A position comes when the sun and the earth has got in between the moon or the moon has got or moon comes in between sun and earth. Now children see from here also the sun is going to ref, uh, like the sun rays will be reaching the surface of the moon. But this reflection or the reflected light won't be able to reach the surface of the earth. We won't be able to see the moon because it is there in the center of the uh, sun and the earth and the light is uh, coming on the one side and it is not falling, it is not coming on the another side. It, the, the reflection, the reflected light is not reaching till us. So when this situation comes, we are not able to see the moon and this is the only new moon day or no moon day. This is no moon day. Or in Hindi it is also known as Amavasya when there is no moon in the sky. Now what will happen? Slowly moon will move towards the earth, isn't it? In the beginning, in here, in uh, when the no, no moon day was there, the moon was approach, approaching where? The moon was moving towards the sun. The moon was moving towards the sun. Now slowly the moon will approach towards the earth and when moon will approach towards the earth we will be able to see little part of the moon. So let us have that. Now this is the first stage. I will draw a few more. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Seventh, and eight. So first of all, the first thing which we understood is due to the revolution, the phases of the moon appears. Due to the revolution of the moon, as the moon is revolving around the earth, it seems that it is changing its sizes and uh, size and shape. While revolving a position comes when the moon is in between the sun and the earth and so that is the reason just now I showed. So that is the reason the uh, reflected light could not reach over there and we cannot see the moon. Now the first is no moon day that means in the sky there is no moon, moon is not there in the sky. Now second in this stage the the moon was moving towards the sun. Now in the second stage here the moon will move towards the earth. Here the moon was moving towards the sun and here it is moving towards the earth. And when it moves towards the earth it becomes visible, visible but what the size is very very small. So the second moon is waxing crescent, waxing 
increasing. Now, as we have discussed that waxing, waxing means what? To look bigger. That means the size is increasing, it is becoming bigger. And crescent, what is the meaning of crescent, children? Crescent means the two ends are tapering. I'll just show over here. And the moon appears in this shape, tapering at the ends. And this whole part is this one is totally dark, we cannot see this moon and this is no moon. But in the second stage, in the second stage what is happening, this part is totally dark, this part is not visible, but this part is not visible but then this part is visible, only this much part is visible. Now, waxing means to appear bigger, that means now from this stage when there was no moon, here the moon is at least visible, we can see moon, but the shape, now the second why it is known as Waxing because it is increasing in size, but why is it known as crescent? Because the shape is crescent. Now, what is the meaning of crescent? I was telling that, that crescent means the two ends are tapering, these two ends are tapering and from the center it is uh, thicker, thicker from the center and two ends are tapering, this is known as crescent and that is a, that is the reason it is known as waxing crescent, so simple. So, first is when there is no moon that means moon is not there and the second comes the waxing crescent here the moon is moving towards the earth that uh, sorry uh, towards the sun and that is the reason we cannot see. But here it is uh, moving towards the earth and so it start no uh, uh, we are able to see at least few uh, path. Now, it is known as waxing because it is becoming bigger and crescent because the shape is crescent that means the two ends are tapering and in the center it is thicker. Now, slowly this size will keep on increasing, slowly the size will keep on increasing till it attains its full size that means the full, full moon day. Now, the first is no moon day, the second is waxing crescent and the third is first quarter, the third is first quarter. Now, till first quarter the quarter revolution of the moon around the uh, revolution is there is no need to explain now. So, the quarter revolution of the moon gets over, the quarter revolution of the moon gets over and that is the reason again the size will increase, again the size will increase and it will be visible this much. Till here the quarter revolution of the moon is over and this stage occurs after one week, one week after the, one week after what? After uh, no moon like from no, uh, no moon day if we count one week then the stage will come as what the first quarter. So, after, after one week of no moon day the first quarter arises where the size of the moon increases from the crescent and we can see a little bigger part of the moon. Now, the now, the motion is in continuation, it is moving towards the earth only, that is the reason the more and more part of the moon will be visible. And now, the next stage that means the fourth stage will be waxing gibbous. So, it is waxing gibbous. 
Now gibbous actually means the bigger one, the big. So here again lot of part of the moon is visible. It is not the full moon but it uh, almost approx the full moon. So now this one, this part is visible. I have not drawn over here. See this part is visible and the white part is not visible. Now here the visible part increases. Here the visible part increases and so it is known as gibbous and the size will goes on increasing till it gets it attains it full size till it attains it full size. Now here again it is moving towards the earth and so a position will come when the sun and the moon are totally opposite to each other. The sun and the moon are totally opposite to each other and so this one is the full moon day or the full moon when both the sun and the moon are totally in the opposite direction and that is the reason we can see the full moon. This is the moon which is totally you know, visible as a full disk in the sky and this is what this is the full moon day. This is the full full moon day that means we can see the moon nicely now. Now slowly what will happen the moon now here the moon is in its fullest size. We can see moon exactly as a shining bright disk in the sky. So try to understand till here first is no moon day when there is no moon in the sky. Why it is not seen because the position is what the moon has come in between the sun and the earth and reflection light is not visible. Now in this case it is moving towards the sun. Now here it has started moving towards the earth and so the lightest part has come into uh, you know like we can see the small part and that is uh, it is known as waxing crescent. Then the first quarter that means the size will keep on increasing within a week the one first quarter uh, arises. Now the next one again the size will increase and that is till here the waxing stages are there till here the waxing stages are here because the moon is becoming bigger. So this one is waxing gibbous and uh, the moon has become bigger. The moon has become bigger we are able to see the moon as the brightest uh, object in the sky. Now when we talk about all this stage first, second, third, fourth. Now after this the full moon has uh, come. Now till here the when we talk about the full moon. Now after this what will happen again the revolution uh, actually till here the half of the revolution is completed, half revolution is completed and now what will happen again the direction will change and slowly what will happen it will uh, start becoming smaller and smaller. So here it was waxing crescent and now it will be here waning gibbous because it is big I will just write and then explain it is waning gibbous. Now see waning means what it is becoming smaller but gibbous means what big. So it is it is there it is very big but slightly it has started getting you know becoming the size is getting smaller. So this part has now this part it has become smaller that means this white part is now not visible. This white part is now not 
visible that means it has reduced from its size it was full moon and now it has become waning gibbous why waning because now it is becoming smaller and gibbous why gibbous as here also gibbous was a very big uh, size here also it is huge in size that means the part which is uh, waning waning is a small part but here still the size is uh, that means the visible part is more okay so it is waning gibbous now the seventh stage after this you know now it will be last quarter so this stage is i'll just have to rub this so now the third stage will come uh, third stage in the sense which third stage i'm talking in continuation this will be the seventh stage but now after full moon the this one is if i count one then second and then third or to avoid confusion we'll talk in continuation so here this one will be the last quarter that means the visible part will decrease and the the part which is not visible will increase the part which is not visible will increase and this visible part will get decreased this visible part will get decreased so this is the part which is not visible now and this one is the one which is not uh, only this part is visible and so big part is not visible now now after this what will happen the waning crescent will come waning crescent now what is the meaning of waning crescent crescent we know but here it was waxing crescent waxing crescent means the size uh which has come the crescent is now appearing it's it's becoming bigger but now here what it's becoming uh, very small so what will be the how i need to draw this now only this part will be left only that this part will be only this part will left brighter part and this whole total part will become the darker part so uh, this one is what now first of all we'll talk again but this one change i can do that this one i will draw here only so it will become more clearer to compare so now we are drawing waning crescent so this is waning crescent and what is happening over here now see only this much is left which is visible this whole part has become uh, this this is not visible and so i have to draw waning that means i have to reduce the size which is visible and crescent that means again the two tapering ends and the thicker at the end so this is so this is the part now only this part is visible Okay, it has become in a crescent shape. Only this part is visible, and this total part is now darker. And this total part is dark, and we cannot see this darker part. Now, well, this one is the this come this stage comes in the fourth week. Now. uh we'll try to understand this whole phases of moon uh, again properly now first of all we know that the moon is a bright object in the sky 
but it keep on changing its phases uh, it keep on changing its size but this size does actually moon changes its size can or change the size no similarly even the moon is not changing its size but what is happening as it's revolving and due to this revolution the position the uh, position of the moon with relation to earth and the sun changes what do i mean that means the position of the moon with respect to sun and the earth keep on changing it keep on changing and that is the reason we see different different shapes of the moon now when we talk about the first stage this is a very very first stage that means no moon day that means when there is no moon in the sky when there is no moon in the sky which is known as amavasya in hindi here the moon is moving towards the sun here the moon is moving towards the sun and so the uh, you know the reflected light is not able to reach the surface of the earth and so we are not able to see the moon now slowly it from here the uh, moon start moving towards the earth as i have shown in the diagram before this only so when it moves towards the earth now it's little far from the uh, from the sun far in the sense i'm not talking about the distance that means the direction has changed now it's moving towards the earth so now waxing means what to appear bigger it's the when the size increases we say waxing when the size decreases we say waning so why we are, this all stages till full moon will be waxing why it will be waxing because till full moon the size of the moon will increase so here this is waxing crescent why waxing because the size is increasing and why crescent because the shape of the moon is like the crescent that means the two ends are very very pointed and thicker from the bit, uh, center now after one week the first quarter will come where the size from crescent will like you know it will become more bigger it will increase it won't be like crescent only but it will increase till here the till first quarter the quarter revolution of the moon gets over the quarter revolution the quarter revolution of moon gets over and so it is known as first quarter where the moon is visible bigger which is bigger than the crescent size but still it has not come into its fullest size now now again waxing gibbous why waxing because it is increasing gibbous means what it is big now it has increased uh, and almost i'm using this word almost the moon is visible totally almost i'm saying only this how little part is left which is not visible so this was a stage which has come after one week and now this is waxing gibbous that means it has become bigger and it is only the small little part is left which is not visible now in the third week in the third uh, yes waxing gibbous uh, we have discussed now uh now which situation will come after no moon the waxing crescent has come then the first uh, quarter has come then the waxing gibbous has come and then the full moon will be there now here the half revolution gets over till here the half revolution gets over now when the half revolution gets over or is over so what will happen the sun and the moon will be just in the opposite direction and such the full moon uh, or the moon is uh, visible in the form of a big disk bright disk now after this now what will happen slowly again the uh, size of the moon will start decreasing and again then we will say that it has come to the size of waning gibbous that means it is gibbous it is big but slightly it has started getting decrease now last quarter that means in the third week in the 
third week now what will happen children the part which was now see i need to write over here this is visible part this is visible part and this one is dark now so here within 3 week now what will happen last quarter will come and here the size which is uh, uh, not visible will be increasing and now after this the fourth stage will come the fourth stage is in the the fourth week what what will happen only the crescent the only the this is known as waning crescent that means only a crescent shape uh, of the moon will be left and the total part will become uh, this part will become darker this we dark darker means we cannot see this after this what will happen again the no moon day will come where the moon is not visible and again this uh, cycle keeps on uh, you know it, it is it moves in continuation again why does it happens because the moon revolves around the earth and due to the revolution of the earth the position of the sun earth and moon keeps on changing with respect to each other and due to this the uh, the different size of the moon is seen from the surface of the earth actually uh, the moon is full only that means the moon doesn't changes its shape it is what it is it doesn't keeps on changing its shape it cannot so it's not that the moon changes its shape but the thing is that the position of the moon changes from the earth and so we are able to see sometimes the full moon sometimes we are not able to see even the half moon now this one is known as purnima uh, sorry i'm so sorry uh, where it has gone this one so this one is known as purnima in hindi that means the full moon day so this is all about the phases of the moon which we can see over there that first is a no moon day then waxing crescent first quarter then waxing gibbous full moon uh, full moon then waning gibbous last quarter and waning crescent so with this we now understand we can know we can understand we have no, uh, come to know that uh, the different size of the moon is seen from the surface of the earth just because of the revolution of the moon so uh, these are the different phases of the moon uh, please note this point we'll move to the next topic